Hi, Mike Quigley again with Shogun Oriental Arts, continuing our uh, tutorial on uh, Oriental items of art. We're going to now talk about cinnabar. Cinnabar is basically done by the Chinese, however the Japanese and a few others attempted to do it. But the Chinese are the main ones that did. It dates all the way back three, four hundred, five hundred years, even, even further than that when they first started with it, maybe six hundred years. It comes in many colors. Normally it's red, but it can come in white, off-gray. As you see over here on the left, a piece has a black and red put together. Uh, so there's many ways they can do it, but the red color is the dominant color. It is actually a, an applied lacquer work. They work with it when it's wet, and they get it on there and start carving everything out to the detail they want it, and then they finish it out. It can have various things put in with it, in the, such as jade pieces, to highlight something on the, uh, on the item. But most of the time it's just a cut cinnabar. That's the beauty of the, of the, of the whole concept of cinnabar. Uh, we're going to show you an example now of uh, some pretty good detail on a tray. Okay, so we'll go over to the item itself. This is a small tray. They made them big, large, small, round, square, rectangular. And the detail work on this is really, really phenomenal. It's the kind of thing that you, uh, you don't see a lot of. It has a double dragons on it. By the way, generally when you see dragons on any artwork that's oriental, the uh, claws will have five talons or toes. That is Chinese, whatever the item is. If you have four or three, it's going to be Japanese. It's just the way they did their dragons. So it's a dead giveaway as to Chinese or whether it's uh, 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 Japanese. All right, put that one down. Now, I'll give you another example. I just mentioned it, and that's this one here, which is a black and on red, which gives it a nice contrast. It's something that you don't uh, see a lot of and is a little bit more contemporary. Most of these items, except for a couple of them, are all again done probably in the 20th century early. And, uh, but you can see the detail work on the cutout. Even the background is incised with the design. And that's what makes this stuff so pretty. Every square inch of the surface is done in, uh, in, the, in the cinnabar carved design, whatever they've decided to put on the item. Uh, the next thing I think we can look at is, uh, here's, a, here's a piece that is interesting and mentioned uh, earlier about putting something with it. Here's a small box with a jade cutout uh, emblem put onto the box. The box itself is just black lacquered. It's lightweight. They're never really very heavy. And uh, the device that's on there can be in a bigger box and a bigger piece of jade. It can do all kinds of stuff. So now the best piece here in this group is this one right here, which is a small uh, canister probably for, uh, I know not what, they could use it for just about anything. But it has great, great detail and deep detail. That's the kind of thing that you see on the better ones. The sharper, later stuff that we just showed you is indicative of the late period. This is more indicative of a rolled edges detail work. And here's the top with a couple of guys on top of that running around and looking. Inside is usually done in a, in a cloisonné material, but it might not be. It could have just black lacquer inside of it. <coughs> and has it also on the bottom. The rim on this actually is brass and it's chipped in a few places so you can actually see the brass where the red has covered it up. So the rest of it will not be like that, but for protection they put a metal rim on it. And that's interesting, you just don't see a lot of that. The older pieces like this are hard to find. Uh, so you just have to handle enough of it to know what you're looking at. And then we got one more piece which I think is a spectacular piece. Let me move a couple of these quickly and we'll take a look at that. It's something I've had uh, uh, for years and I've enjoyed it uh, myself. Uh, this, piece, this piece is my piece and this is a lacquered cinnabar cloisonne, uh, cinnabar uh, sword rack for putting swords on horizontally. It has a position for three swords. It has in the center section, again great detail, 
You notice there's a symbol for the yin and the yang, which the Chinese use, the Koreans use, the Japanese use. Then the rest of the design on this are peaches, or peach blossoms. And it's, uh, it's really pretty, but it's just an overall design. But the whole thing's done in cinnabar. Very unusual. This is the only one I have ever seen in 40 years that has a complete cinnabar carved surface to it. Even the backside is done. And the bottom usually is just black lacquered. I believe it is. That's typical for the design. So, that's a fun piece. Really a fun piece. And it's intact. There's no damage except some cracks on corners and that's basic for boxes they're going to shrink and go down and, and, and move around. Anyway, there you go. Alright. Thank you.